there are these women. She's different. I just love the fact that it, she's so supportive of women, and that's really not the case at all the other places. But the more they face, we're getting told constantly by media to be afraid. And she said, you know, there's got to be a space. There has to be room for a message of hope. The more they overcome. And yeah, people have challenges, but how do they overcome them? The more beautiful they become. She is a powerhouse of a person. When she started Gazelle, I knew that uh, she was the future. She just has something about her that really makes you want to be like her. She's a creative genius, and she just consistently puts out a product that's far and above what anybody else, uh, I think, could manage. <laughs> Scylla is one of those women. Here I am. First generation zombie and immigrant. I am originally from Zambia, Africa. It's a beautiful country, but it got too small for me. I knew I could survive on my own in this big country, and my father was extremely nervous, but I'm still here, I'm still alive. PR Maven. At the end of the day, this is our magazine. When we produce content for Gazelle, it's not about you and what you did. It's about the team and the brand. Magazine founder, editor, and publisher. It was a fresh idea for St. Louis. Who's doing a fashion magazine in St. Louis? Who's so committed to showing fashion and beauty in a way that you get to see it in LA and New York? Nobody was doing it. So I found a niche and it's working. We got backlash for starting the magazine because there are magazines that have been here forever, right? Right. right. And then right. I'm a minority. And I'm from freaking Africa. Who the hell am I to come to St. Louis and start a magazine? Yay! You know? And what I like about your line, it, it, there, it's very classic, but it's got that, you know, that pizzazz. There's something exciting about it. There's, a, there's our plus size model. Oh Louis. my God! That's yeah. Jenny from St. Louis. Yeah. yeah. She's a gazelle. Every morning when a gazelle wakes up, it has to run faster than the fastest lion to survive. And every morning when a lion wakes up, it has to run faster than the slowest gazelle to survive. So every morning when I wake up, I'm running. Who's found her stride? I decided to be myself. You know, I don't have to pretend and be this person that I think people want me to be. I can be myself. Yes, 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 the gazelle cover model right here in Times Square. The obstacles are many. There are so many moving parts. I mean, I have a business that I'm running. It's got its challenges. We are new and fresh. We will go out of business right, right. if we don't stay true to who we are. What I like about this and what really attracted me to it was that it is different. You are daring to do something different. I think we need to push the envelope. I think we need to have supermodels on the cover. I think we need to have world-renowned ballerinas on the cover. We get to tell the reader what they should be looking at. The opportunity is immense. You don't date your sister's friends. You even, <laughs> I know. He you, even don't. you don't date your brother's friends. You dated, no. you dated Danny's friend? No. Sometimes I wonder if my life is my life. It just seems to be a little too dramatic for what I planned it to be, but it's my life, so you just roll with it. Because Scylla rhymes with Thriller. I don't know what's going to happen next in my life. It's survival of the fittest, but you better believe it, I'm fit.